Hey, what's up guys? It's Max and JP back again for another sneaker unboxing. And this guy just came back from vacation and Aloha. Here we go. And we haven't been picking up a lot of shoes lately, but as the title suggests today, we picked up a couple Adidas human races. We really don't buy a lot of Adidas. So I caught this China exclusive pair because I'm Chinese, I speak Chinese, and JP picked up this holy pair. And what's the reason behind it? What caught your eye for th this particular pair? So the inspiration behind the holy edition for all human races is the Hindu festival of colors, which is called holy. Right. Does it re also represent like a beginning of like summer, spring, like Memorial Day? Or That's right. So the festival of holy celebrates the transition of winter to spring. So if we think about spring, we think vibrant colors. Right, right, so right. So as you can right. see on the colorway of the holy right. human race. It's multicolored, kind of like tie-dye inspired, right. all over the upper and a pink outsole. Right. One thing that everybody noticed is that the first human race compared with these recent human races is that the bottom, instead of the regular AMD sole, they changed to the, this you know, mountain trail type of sole. Yeah, that's one of the first things I noticed too because I was never really a big fan of the original NMDs. I don't know if it was because of the sole, but right. the tabs of the NMDs always looked off to me. Like they reminded me of like a Nintendo like, <laughs> system or right. like a okay. controller. But um, I think with this version of the right. NMD, the human races, since they changed the lacing system of the human races, the tabs are now like, connected somehow with this plastic netting. I think it gives it a more clean look than right. just like the tabs by itself. This particular pair, the China exclusive human races came out with four different colorways. I think what JP really liked was the friends and family, the, the gold. Like white and gold. White and gold. That one the, has happiness. The red pair, is, it means passion. So on the right shoe, it's in traditional Chinese character. On the left shoe, it says in English of passion. So what the first top character means is hot, like temperature wise is hot. And the second character, which means emotion so if you have hot emotion so th that means you're passionate right it's pretty self-explanatory the stuff I read online the different colors represents the different ele basic elements in Chinese culture passion represents the element of fire and the friends and family the gold represents gold which is one element gold there's another element which is soil sand so I think the friends and family pair combines gold and soil together I think the inspiration or the design that Pharrell and Adidas wanted to showcase with the human race is that it reflects cultural awareness right the only human race has Chinese characters are all friends and family until these these are general release but China only if you can't afford the resale price, like $6,000 on a pair of uh, human race with Chinese characters, these are your chance to own a pair of human race with Chinese characters. Next thing we want to talk about is actually the sizing. Oh yeah. Me personally, I own the pair of uh, the black human race, the first generation of the human race. I'm a general size 8 and it runs a little big to me. And JP, do you want to talk about how, why these human races run big? Yeah, sure. That's pretty simple. The human races don't come with a removable insole like all other right. Ultra Boost right, right, shoes. Right. So if you wear, for example, size like eight and a half in like an Ultra Boost or like a Yeezy V2, right. you want to size down because there's no removable insole. And I think, you know, from a lot of sneakerhead, they remove the insole of their Ultra Boost or Yeezys so that they fit better. So, right, because they're kind of tight, right? Yeah, because right. most Adidas shoes now all share that prime knit upper construction. Right. Depending how thick that of a prime knit material is used on the shoes, the fitting will be either tighter right. or a little bit more loose. On the right. NMDs, they're a little bit thinner than Yeezys. Right. In my opinion. Another thing, since JP mentioned the insole, the insole is actually like an acupuncture type kind of thing. It shows like different parts of organ represents a different location on the bottom of your feet. Oh yeah. So You're right. some of the Nike collaborations has this feature on the insole such as clot. Clout, which is um, owned by Edison Chan, which is a Hong Kong Chinese artist. So he wanted to inject a lot of Chinese culture, history into his shoes. So we have seen this kind of insole on Nike shoes. So each shoe comes with extra laces. And what color does it come on your, the holy pair, JP? This version of the holy human races come with a salmon or pink colored lace set. Right. It's very basic on the China exclusive. This passion pair, it comes with red and the original lace goes with it is white. And next thing I want to talk about is actually the box. 
As you guys can see, JP is a natural size seven half. He wears seven half for Nikes, but for this human races, he pick up a size seven. So we all recommend you guys to go half size down. And I picked up this passion size seven and a half. So if you guys take a look at the tag of this holy pair, which is released worldwide, this China exclusive pair, the tag is slightly off. One thing to note about the uppers of the holy human races is that just because it's multicolor and tie dyed, you're gonna get shoes that aren't the same. But it doesn't mean that it's fake. The shoe's very unique, and actually, the holy pack featured three different pairs of human races this dark tie dye pair, uh -huh. there was also a lighter right. tie dye right. pair, and a black and purple. purple. Um, right, right, right. Also featured another Adidas silhouette, the Pharrell tennis shoes. I just want to piggyback on what JP said. Before I cop these, these travel a long way to get here for me. I don't want to spend time talking about it. I watched uh, 2J's kick, his uh, sneaker unboxing of these, and I noticed the color difference of his pair and my pair. And that really made me think, oh, my fake, but I, I trusted my plug. So just like what JP just explained, every shoe is very unique because it's blended a lighter red, lighter shade of red here, and maybe a lighter shade of red for 2J's pair is up, up here, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're fake. That's just one point we just wanna make. So me personally, I still prefer the original human races with the AMD so instead of these trail soles, not, not a big fan of them. And, uh, after I got my hands on these, I don't think I'm gonna keep them. It will be on goals. Keep an eye out. Size seven and a half, guys. What do you think, JP? Is it keeper or seller? For me, I was never a big fan of the original NMDs, but right. <laughs> um, maybe because I'm a, a big NERD Pharrell fan, like right. these really called out to me. But right. even like previously released colorways of the Pharrell Human Races, right. I wasn't a big fan of, but just the something about these that hella extra called out yeah. to me. For me, this is gonna be my summer shoe. And this is definitely my favorite color of the Holy Pack out of all the three colors. So that's a good pickup in my opinion. All right guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. Like always, we'll show you guys a little B-roll of each shoe. And if you guys have any comments, just leave it down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Break a yogi, and shake your chest, just